Uh, just a little video today, no particular reason, apart from sometimes I like to hear the sound of my own voice and I think I can uh, communicate better with speech somehow and typing, I just seem to repeat myself every time. So this is what was on my ironing board from my last post on Wednesday's ironing board. There's been some embroidery applied, we've got uh, bullion knots here and here and here, a few little French knots here, we've got web stitches here, um, Got a little bit of applique there, um, as yet not damp stretched, which is very brave of me showing it on here. So that's that one. That's the one that was on Wednesday's ironing board. Um, this one was probably on Thursday's ironing board, but not made a big deal of it. It was just one of the things in the hoops. So I've done quite a bit of work on here as well. I've got a lot of French knots down here for a seam and some buttonhole lace there for a seam. Um, and I've got some running stitch along those pleats, probably quite predictable. Um, see a line, running stitch on it, your line straight, that's what I did there. I'm not going to beat myself up about the fact that that was predictable. Sometimes the predictable is good. And over here we have the uh, ever-present bound buttonhole over here. So there's one of them just in the section there of that lace. I'm not going to do any more on that piece. Um, can you see that? It's there and it's just falling within that little rectangle of lace that's on there. So and I think it's quite unexpected if you were looking at this when this cloth's all put together and you've got it on your lap and you're just looking at the surface and to come across one buttonhole I think might be a nice thing. Just think, oh, that's a little buttonhole. I wonder what's in there. And the answer is there won't really be anything in there. There'll just be the backing of the cloth, but it's still an alternative surface. Now, where was I yesterday? Well, yesterday I went to, it's my yearly day out, I went to the knitting and stitching show at Harrogate. Um, I didn't say anything on Friday about not being there, about being here, because I wasn't sure which day I was going to go, so I hadn't made that decision on Friday. Anyway, I went yesterday, so I just thought I'd show you what I bought, and I didn't actually buy loads of stuff. I bought, I was very good, I bought stuff that I need as opposed to stuff that I wanted of you know, hankered after, like pretty fabrics that I would never use, I'd just buy them for the sake of it. So I bought this sketchbook, see it's spiral bound, but this has got 300 GSM paper in, so it'd be amazing for watercolour paints, but they only had one, um, and it was quite expensive I suppose, because this is almost like board, this watercolour paper, it's, you know, it's so thick. So they only had one, there was two stalls there from the company I got this from, and between the two of them, they only had one of these. So I bought the only one they had, so I'm glad I've got that. It's quite long um, and thin. There, you can see it there. Okay, so then I bought just two of these because I like the spiral bound ones and I like the narrow ones. So I bought this one. The thing with this one is, is look, this is only 150 GSM, so it's not really very good for watercolour. Paints, but what I'd have to do is do that onto paper and just add it to the page because if you do watercolour paints on a 150 GSM paper it's likely to buckle and spoil the effect. So I've got that one which is spiral bound with the binding on, you know, um, it's tall and thin this one whereas this one is long and narrow so and this again is 150 GSM and they're both the same but you know I struggle to get sketchbooks now because my local art shop's closed so I don't, you know, um, I can't easily get hold of them, so I'm glad I've got those three. And anybody would think I was about to do a lot of drawing and painting, more well, don't, you know, don't hold your breath. I just like to have them there. I'm a bit of a sketchbook um, obsessive, to be honest. I've got so many sketchbooks in this house that I never used, but a lot of them aren't very practical. The tiny ones, pretty ones I've bought because they're delicate or, you know, so they're never going to be part of a massive project. I just like to have them. I've always been bookish um, since I was a little girl. I used to read a lot and that, it's, that's morphed somehow. Now I'm older into empty books with lined paper in and blank paper and watercolour paper. And then I bought this. Basically, I, like I say, I didn't buy a lot of unnecessary stuff. I bought stuff that I need as opposed to liked and wanted. I mean, I like this. This is just white quilting cotton. It's got a very plain spotty background, you probably can't see it. I bought this, I bought enough of this to back the current white cloth I'm working on. This one, okay. 
and extra to have extra over because I sometimes mix new white cotton in with vintage pieces to create work because it makes the vintage spread further and then I bought this which is again white quilting cotton and you probably can't see the pattern but we've got vines and trailing leaves on here so it just adds a bit of a extra dimension to the background of my work sometimes and that's it because anything else I bought I can't show you because they're for presents so I'm afraid you can't see those so that explains my absence yesterday in the day and then last night I went out to a concert um, so I've really not been home well it's Sunday now but I didn't get home till midnight Saturday night yesterday so I did have a full on day, very busy. But that's it for a year now. I won't leave the house now for a year. Well, actually, I will. I'm going to London the week after next, but that's another story. But anyway, so that's where I was. That explains my absence, and that's showing you some of the goodies that I bought yesterday, and I'm a happy girl today.